Statements by Ministries. Minister of Children and Youth Services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to acknowledge this month as Women's History Month and October 18th as Persons Day. Monsieur le Président, je prends la parole aujourd'hui pour souligner que c'est le mois de l'histoire des femmes et que le 18 octobre est la journée de l'affaire personne. On October 18th in 1929, women were declared persons under the British North America Act. For the first time, women had a legal identity and the right to serve in Senate. This year, on the 80th anniversary of this historic time, the famous five, Nellie McClung, Louise McKinney, Irene Parlby, Henrietta Muir Edwards, and Emily Murphy, have been so appropriately named posthumously to Canada's Senate, the first time in history for such an honor to be bestowed. These fearless and passionate women envisioned a future that could be more equitable, more just, and more secure for Canadian women. They cleared the way for women to participate as equal partners and decision makers and equal beneficiaries in our society. Monsieur le Président, j'ai le plaisir de dire qu'il y a de nombreuses femmes en Ontario qui s'investissent avec autant de passion et de détermination que les célèbres cinq pour que la province soit un endroit plus équitable. Three Ontario recipients of the 2009 Governor General's Awards commemorating the person's case come to mind. Jeanette Corbière Laval, who successfully fought for 15 years to regain her Indian status after she married a non-Aboriginal man. Bev Lefrancois, a social activist for women's rights since 1970, who helped establish community, women's and rape crisis centers, and shelters for battered women. And Pauline Fogarty, a young woman from Thunder Bay who designed a girls' collective and is actively involved in social issues such as youth in the mental health system. Their stories make us pause to realize the accomplishments of women in our communities, in our courts, and in our legislatures. Women's History Month gives us pause to appreciate the advances made by women in many areas. As our country is in the final stages of preparing to host the 2010 Winter Olympics and Paralympics, it is fitting that this year's theme for Women's History Month, Women in the Lead, Winter Sports, is shining a well-deserved light on the Ontario women who have broken down barriers in winter sports. Women who have broken ground for others, ranging from Isabel Stanley, daughter of Lord Stanley, who helped form the first Women's Hockey League in 1894 to Karen Blatchford, a Paralympic gold medal winner who in wheelchair curling proved that we can all participate in sports. And most recently, Veronica Bauer, who took aerial skiing by storm, winning five World Cup gold medals in a one of the world's newest winter sports. L'histoire des réalisations féminines en Ontario est haute en couleur et édifiante. Ce sont des réalisations par des femmes de tous les horizons et des quatre coins de l'Ontario. To the women who have made Ontario rich through your accomplishments, I say thank you for leading the way. To today's women leaders on behalf of all of us in Ontario, I say congratulations on your achievements and thank you for showing young girls what can be accomplished with skill, hard work and a dream. Thank you, Speaker. Merci.